if you don't have some sort of self-governing about the business, yeah. it can eat you up. A hundred percent. That's a, that's a great, you need a guiding philosophy. I love that kind of self-governance. Like I learned very early on, my first couple years out of school, the roles that I booked were when I went into the waiting room and either I was the only person in the waiting room or I was the only guy in the waiting room. The second another guy walked in and signed in and I saw he was auditioning for my part, I would compare myself, I would debase myself, I'd be like, oh, we're supposed to wear a jacket and tie, I'm not gonna get this role, or whatever. I, I was so easily knocked off my piece right. by, by the presence of another person. And the other thing that I really loathed about being a young actor, the, the, the dispiriting kind of energy of sitting in a room with like 10 guys who look vaguely like you. Yeah. I never liked that feeling of being um, just a dude like just a dude who was trying to do this with a lot of other dudes. Right, you don't want to look too far into the business and go, okay, let me, do, let me run the numbers. Don't How many guys numbers. like me? Do not run the numbers. It came out of a prestigious My dad school. ran the numbers and that's why he was freaked out because right. he looked at unemployment rates and all that stuff. So your dad's calling you going, there are 16,000 27 year old SAG holding white men. Yeah, well, how are you gonna Right now, distinguish within yourself? a one block area. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, you know, I tell people, the things that you think are victories in this business, like you, you, have to, you have to broaden your definition of what a victory is. Like if you're a young actor and you go in, if a casting director sees you more than once, that means right. they like you. Call that a victory. They keep seeing you. If they um, tell you, great audition, you're not right for this role, that's a victory. If um, you get a call back, you, know, you meet the producer and the director, but you don't get the role, that's a victory. It's not all about getting the role or, right, you know, right. you, ha you have to learn how to celebrate because the other thing about this business I find is the carrot keeps moving. So if I am, if I'm on a pilot, I, I think, oh, that's great. No, 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 now I have to, it has to get picked up to series. Oh, now it has to not get canceled. Now it has to turn into a global phenomenon. Oh, now I'm a TV actor, I gotta be a film actor or I'm a worthless. Like whatever, you yeah. know, whatever your head is doing to try to keep you dissatisfied. It's like rigged for dissatisfaction. So I found I had to find some sort of um, motor or fuel or, or, or satisfaction that had nothing to do with the latest thing because it's exhausting, that chase is exhausting. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you wanna see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm gonna give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out. <laughs>